Hey, what's up guys? So it's a little bit early for me to be giving my January recap. It is the 26th right now, but I got to get this video out and I'm going to be at the 10X Growth Conference next weekend. So I wanted to make sure I got it out to you right now. The month of January has been pretty solid so far for the Grow Your Dough Challenge. So right now I took my $1,000. I'm currently sitting at $1,115.92, which is like an 11.5% return. But there has been $237 in profit alone, which is a 23.5%, almost, you know, almost 25%, almost 24% return. The reason the amount in the bank account is so low is because I went garage sailing again today. And so right now I have 17 items that aren't even, some of them aren't even on eBay yet to sell. Some of these things like today, I bought a Canon Super 8mm camcorder from like the 60s that I got for 25 bucks and I mean it's on eBay anywhere from like 40 to $200 depending on the conditions. So there's some pretty big items out there, but as you'll see in a minute, so far the biggest one is this bad boy right here, which is, I bought this for 50 cents and I sold it for $81, 16,200% return. And actually I got a little bit of the shipping money back off of that. So it's actually a little bit better return than that. But this is how January is going so far. So it's gonna be kind of weird because I'm gonna be gone for a few uh, weeks here and there, which will kind of put a damper on me getting to garage sales. But the grand scheme of things, I think we will easily double our money by the summer. Uh, we could probably triple it by the end of the year, if not more. And the kicker here is I've only been going to the garage sales with like a hundred bucks. So I really haven't been going all out. I could take all this money and I could go out with a thousand bucks and go to so many more garage sales. I would need to just crank up the uh, eBay and the, the cameras and everything. And I don't know that I have enough time to really devote to that. But uh, with only my like hundred bucks, I've already made doubled that, that I've been spending every weekend. So great return so far. And I look forward to, uh, showing the rest of this for you. Now I'm gonna show you some of the highlights. Now I took my camera to do a full vlog. I bought this new uh, setup so that I could do better videos for you. And the first time I filmed, I didn't understand that I had to manually turn the audio on. And then of course, the second time I figured it all out, but I forgot the piece to hold my actual mic so the audio was still terrible. Um, so we're gonna get that under wraps. The footage is good, the audio is not there. It is what it is, check it out. guys this is uh garage sale day two I'm trying to hustle we're going to the swap meet uh Jin is in the toyota behind me because after the swap meet we're both going to go to a uh, it's called properties with potential by keenan isley so shout out she's a stellar keller williams agent out here and a house flipper uh, so we're going to go tour some properties with her and then after that we're going to go our different directions so we're driving separate but we're checking out the swap meet today gonna get a little crazy uh, swap meet may not have the best deals always because some of the people there, you know, they're trying to trying to make some money on their own. So they're actually uh, going to try to hustle you a little bit. Uh, it's not the same as like garage sales, but I've had some pretty good luck there. Last few times I've been there, I've gotten, uh, like I've walked by a tank stand and had someone say, oh, free stuff, everything's free. And I've got to grab some books for free. So, you know, if that happens again, that's some automatic profit as long as you sell something. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. We'll let you guys know. We got some computer parts. Everything ten dollars? Yeah. You know I left my backpack in my car. Oh shoot. Oh okay. Okay. Well, 가져가요? 그냥 공짜로요? 아, 감사합니다. 
ये 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 थ्री डे ओके ओके she just gave them to me actually <laughs> yeah so I just got some some free bananas the nice Korean lady and we just got a whole bunch of computer parts I have no idea desktop monitor graphics card it looked like graphics card an AC adapter and a keyboard a keyboard so the thing about the keyboard was that it was wireless right so I don't know if it came with the receiver um, we'll have to find out, but I mean, the monitor itself was worth at least $10. More than $10, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I think I think you already pulled the profit right here. Oh, and, and of course the bananas. Yeah, free bananas. Free bananas. We should go sell them for 50 cents. <laughs> I don't know, how much are you looking for for this? 50 cents? Alright. I think for 50 cents I'll be willing to risk seeing if it works. Just a matter of will it work? How how much are you thinking for this one? Alright, so I'm a moron and I left my little piece to mount my microphone at home. Um, so this is gonna be the only good audio quality you get. But we are about to head into the swap meet again. We're a little earlier today, so we're going to see if maybe we have a little bit more luck early in the morning. Uh, we've had pretty good luck here so far, but we'll see what happens. Again, the microphone's going away, and we're going to go have some fun. Hey, what's up, guys? So for the month of January, it is the 25th, I think, right now. I left my watch at home because I'm a hot mess today. Um, I missed one weekend. I've got a whole bunch of items unsold right now, but we have had a pretty killer month. I had a printer. This is my best one so far. I bought this printer for 50 cents and sold it for $82. I did the math. It's like a 16,200% return. Uh, overall, and I'll show you the numbers here in a second as I, uh, when I get home, overall we're over 20% back, probably closer to 30% back, and I have half my stuff hasn't even sold yet. So we're doing really well. I'm really excited for the future. Today I just bought a Super Canon 8mm camera, which depending on if I can get it to work is worth anywhere from 40 bucks to $200, and I spent 25 on it. I bought a RCA camcorder that's worth anywhere from 40 to 90 and I spent 15 for it. And then I bought a Sony, it's called like a Trinicon, and it's worth anywhere from $79.99 to $300 on eBay, and I spent 10 for that. And then I bought a, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, International House, I don't know, some like old home computer, I got it for 5 bucks. And I've seen it anywhere from 40 to $100 on eBay. Um, so, so far this month, what I've learned is that older, like vintage tech type stuff seems to work really well. Or if you can get like an all-in-one printer dirt cheap. So like I said, that printer was 50 cents and I got 82 bucks for it. It was a graphics card I paid 250 for that I got 50 something, 51, 52 for. Um, there's a couple other things that I got pretty cheap tech-wise, people just didn't know what they were or what they were worth, and I turned around and made a decent profit with it. So uh, since my camera just fell over, I'm going to take that as my cue to actually pay attention to the road. So we're going to go back to the house, and I'm going to show you the Excel document where I've been tracking everything, and we'll show you some of the products I sold in three, two, one. All right, guys. So last but not least, I wanted to make sure that I touched on some of the other groups that are participating in the Grow Your Dough Challenge. So there's a whole bunch of YouTubers doing this, 10, 15. The whole list is on my blog. If you want to go there, you can check them all out. I update that every month as well. But a few of them I've seen videos on and they've kind of intrigued me. So of course, the first one is the wealth hacker, Jeff Rose. Now, Jeff Rose is the gentleman who created the Grow Your Dough Challenge for this year. Uh, he's also got like nine or ten different funds going. So he did like nine or ten thousand dollar grow your dough challenges, including one 
where he is doing some garage sale flipping and junk and uh, odd jobs and things like that. And uh, so I think he's my real competitor if we look that way. So I'm watching you, Jeff. The next one would be Joseph Hogue over at the Let's Talk Money channel. Uh, Joseph is a Marine as well. Uh, he's a solid dude. Love talking to him. Joseph is going to be doing dividend stocks. And so far on one of his videos he just posted, he's got like an 11 or 12% return overall, but he's got one stock that's doing 32% this month, which is pretty impressive. And I like this because dividend stocks is something that I don't normally participate in. Um, not super familiar with, I've never really done a lot of dividends investing. So I'm enjoying following along and learning some new stuff from him, watching him do it. And then finally, Tila Holcomb, who is another fellow YouTuber in uh, FinCon. So she's going to be doing your stock market trading through TD Ameritrade. And uh, she got her video out earlier a couple weeks ago and it was a pretty good video. So definitely go check it out, check her out. And, uh, those are the three that I wanted to touch on this month, and we will continue to bring you updates on other YouTubers in the Grow Your Dough Challenge, as well as updates on how my junk flipping is going. So thanks for tuning in again, guys. Hey, if you haven't done so already, click the little red button over there and subscribe. Check the little bell, and you'll stay updated on all of these future notifications. It's free, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on some crazy junk we're flipping. Have a great day, guys.